The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers says Iraq's largest dam is on the verge of collapse, and this is endangering thousands of lives. Plus, an American brigadier general has become the highest-ranking officer wounded since the start of the war. NBC's Tom Aspel joins us live from Baghdad with the latest on both these stories. Tom, good morning. Hi, Mika. Well, alarming reports out of northern Iraq saying that the country's largest dam, which was built during Saddam Hussein's time, is unstable. It's located just above Mosul in northern Iraq, and U.S. Army Corps of Engineers say if there is what they call a catastrophic failure, that is the whole dam coming down at once, then trillions of gallons of water would flood downstream and inundate the city of Mosul, killing as many as 500,000 people. They even say the water would come down as far as Baghdad, causing the river levels here to rise as much much as 15 feet. Now, engineers say they are taking measures. They've spent $27 million uh, in a process they call grouting, which is putting liquid cement and other materials into the base of the dam to try and hold it up. They also want to build another dam further downstream to take off a little pressure from the water up there. But the Iraqi government says no. It doesn't believe the dam is in danger of collapse. And there's a bit of bickering going on between American and Iraqi authorities. Meanwhile, the Special Inspector General for Iraq in charge of uh, a assessing the progress of reconstruction here, says things are going slow despite an improvement in the security situation. He says electricity supplies are reaching only 60 percent of the people, that unemployment is at 40 percent, and that the factories and manufacturing plants in Iraq are operating only at 30 percent of capacity. That's below, well below pre-war levels. Also, oil production is well below pre-war levels. And as to that senior American officer, the most senior American officer wounded in Iraq, he is Brigadier General Jeffrey Dorco. He was wounded on Monday morning in northern Baghdad when an IED exploded next to his vehicle. He was evacuated to a medical facility in Germany with a shrapnel wound in one of his lungs. But hospital staff say the general is making progress. He is not in a life-threatening situation. Mika? NBC's Tom Aspel in Baghdad. Thank you.